Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's great to see everybody here. Um, it's always exciting to be opening an event. Um, so on stage, Mike, our executive director, Richard, and myself, board members. Um, if you want to talk to any of us during the conference, you have something to say, you don't want to say in front of everybody, just find us. We'll be here all next two days. So feel free to reach out to us. So hopefully everybody here knows OWASP. Um, if you don't, OWASP is an organization that works to improve the security of software. We've been doing this for almost 20 years. We're the largest organization in this space. Uh, we have over 5 million people visiting our website every year. We have almost 50,000 people taking um, part of our activities worldwide with our chapters and projects, and I'll talk about that um, in a minute. We're community-led, so everything that happens in OS is volunteers. We have a very, very small uh, paid staff, which helps with the operations, but all the content, all the chapters, all the conferences, everything is done by volunteers. We have the local team here that helped bring up this conference. Give them a round of applause. And OWASP sets the standards for software security. A lot of industry standards, like PCI, like HIPAA, like other standards, reference our resources, our projects. So it's a great um, organization to be part of. And that brings me to the next topic, getting involved. We would like to get more of you guys involved. There are already a lot of people in this room that are involved. Um, but we need more help. So what do we need? So the easiest way to get involved with OWASP is with a local chapter. If you have um, a chapter where you live, you probably do. If you don't, you can start one. If you have one, you can join one. Go to meetups, um, speak in a chapter meeting. We always need more content. Do something um, to support the chapter. That's great. The next thing we need help with is projects. So OWASP has over 130 projects at any given moment from obviously OS top 10 that you all know, to code-based projects, training projects, outreach projects. There's a lot of uh, stuff we do, and you can look it up in our website. Um, help a project, contribute content, contribute code. That always helps, and it feels great to build something that other people are using. Five million people on our website every year. And then finally, uh, we are bringing back the committees. So if for those of you who've been with OS for a while, we've had committees up until six, seven years ago. Um, and now the board has decided to bring back the committees. There's just too much work to be done at the board level. And we need more people to volunteer with the committees, with the chapters committees, with the project committees. The committees are basically helping the board uh, be in touch with the community, drive activities for these things. So if you have some time to spare and want to do something big for OS, reach out to, our, to us and join a, a committee. Thank you. How many members do we have here, OWAS members? Quite a few, that's great. Why, why aren't the rest of you members? It's only $50 a year. Come on, that, that, we, can, we can help you if you need a little financing help. But we'd love to have you join us. The money goes for obviously good causes, helping with conferences, helping with chapters, helping great, great speakers, helping going to the project. So please, consider joining. You'll get discounted rates on all the uh, conferences. So you get your money back if you just attend the conference. But it's again, it's going for good cause, and it's so inexpensive. You compare us to all the other uh, organizations out there, we're a third at least, right? So um, consider putting your money where your mouth is. But we really love to have you here regardless. Don't worry. Don't misinterpret. Um, also. Those of you who are members will get the privilege to vote starting next week. We have four openings on the board, three returning board members, and one vacancy. Uh, there's, what, 20 people still, that many? So you have plenty to choose from. Please take the time to review the interviews that they have done and their agendas that they're setting. Please, it's very important. That helps set the direction for OWASP. So, you know, the message that Ofer gave, and the message I'm giving you is please get involved, whether it's just casting your vote responsibly or 
uh, getting involved with, with a leadership role or a volunteer role. We'd love to have you join us, and uh, thank you for coming today. So a, co a couple quick announcements. Um, the organization, any organization, is better when there's a diverse set of people involved. Uh, this year, the OWASP Foundation has granted about $100,000 worth of scholarships, reduced membership dues, um, and also student memberships um, available to uh, most anyone that ever asks uh, most of the time to increase the diversity of the people that are involved uh, with the community. If you would have been here yesterday, for instance, and actually we did this also in Tel Aviv, we're also doing, well, actually we're not doing it in Europe in the, uh, two weeks from now, but we often uh, offer a, a specific training class that is, that's sponsored by the Women in AppSec community. We had 40 women that came and attended that training conference yesterday, and many of them are still here for the rest of this week in the conference. You'll also notice in this conference, as well as the, the most recent conference we had in Tel Aviv, half of our keynotes um, are women, and that is deliberate. We want to make sure that there's a good share of voice and, and a diversity of, of conversation happening, uh, and to fix some of the injustices that have been done in the tech sector when it comes to diversity. This is the first of uh, a long journey of conferences. I will let you know that we have uh, Amsterdam conference was happening in two weeks from now. We will have a European conference that is set for June. We don't have a location. We're down to three different sites. Um, and that'll be in June of 2020. And we'll be returning to San Francisco October 19th of next year. So my advice to you this week is to um, have fun, get to know other people, build community. I would encourage you, we obviously, as you know, will have, and Ben will talk about logistics here in a second, but we will have a reception this evening that'll be downstairs where all the other conference rooms are. Uh, all the vendors will be set up there. Uh, visit our sponsors. This is one of the ways we're able to put off these conferences and charge so little for the event relative to other conferences because we have a good support from our sponsors. Um, I will not put it in a slide, but I'll tell you buy products from our sponsors. That's also a good thing to do if you'd like. Um, and the other thing I will tell you is to give us feedback. When you walk out of all the session rooms, you'll see a uh, QR code. Also at the end of the speakers, every speaker except for the keynotes should have a slide that will also have a QR code. Just go ahead and scan that code and then pick the session that you want to provide feedback. It's the way that we can make sure that we get better speakers the next time um, and also improve the conference. So we really need your feedback to continually improve the uh, conferences from Global, Op, uh, Global AppSec. But before we start, I'm going to introduce Ben from our local organizing committee that's going to go through a couple of small housekeeping notes and introduce our keynote speaker. Thank you very much for coming this week. Have a great time, and we'll look forward to talking to you soon. Wow. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming this morning. My name is Ben Pick, and Coming up with me are the other local chapter leads. We have Abdullah, Patrick, and Sean. Uh, we also host meetups the third Thursday of the month. So if you are interested in looking at more details on our upcoming events, please go to meetup.com and look us up. We, whew, just a few housekeeping things. Um, let me click to the next slide. There we go. So the Wi-Fi information, it's Marriott Conference, it's Global 19 is the code with a capital G number 19. So please do not abuse the Wi-Fi. Uh, everyone needs to use it, so be careful with it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, sorry. So right across the hall in Virginia A, there is a CTF going on throughout the conference that's provided by security initiative. If you want, try it out. Just learn from the experience. And I want to just start off with a few thank yous. So thank you to our volunteers, to everyone who has come in and donated their time to get the best possible conference we can to you all. Uh, that includes, you know, thank you to the sponsors. Thank you to the, like I said, the volunteers. Uh, if you see people in blue shirts, please go up to them and if you have any questions, concerns, comments, we are here to help you out. Uh, also, thank you to all of you for attending. We would not be here without you. 
<laughs> and yeah, there's a lot more to the conference than just the talks. So, you know, after the opening keynote is over, please do look to the person to your left, look to the person to your right, and just introduce yourself. There is a fountain of knowledge within the crowd.